and we're back with Arrow. Season 8, episode 1, the start of the final season is upon us. I'm sad. No, I'm more scared. I'm not going to be sad until it ends, but I'm scared. Because, like, all the shows are going to have an impact after Crisis, but Arrow is, like, the main impact, the main building point. Because Oliver's going to be the one dying. Season, the season 7 finale was fucking emotional. So, Infinite Earths, Oliver dying is going to top that. It's going to be so much more emotional. I think <clears throat> the fi this final season... It's like 10 episodes, Crisis is episode 8, I believe. That way they can have two, two episodes to properly wrap it up. Um, I think the first seven, basically, are just, like, the build-up. Like, okay, we know Crisis is coming, we know Oliver's gonna die, now we're gonna do the final build-up to it. I think it's kind of, like, supposed to be, like, a bittersweet thing to tie up all the loose ends, tie everything up. The only thing I'm not interested in is the flash-forwards. Like, they were interesting, it's just... They were kind of predictable and they took away any suspense for the present day, like... For all the characters alive in the future, it took away any kind of suspense if they got trouble in the present, because we all knew they were going to make it, so it took away all suspense, so... I feel like that'll change the season, because we all know... The only person not in the flash forwards is Oliver. Well, Felicity now, because Emily Bett is no longer on the show. Um... But yeah, it's bound to be emotional. I'm pretty sure Tommy and Moira Queen are supposed to come back this episode. I'm curious to see how that happens. Adrian Chase is coming back. I'm excited for that. But overall, it's sure to be emotional. I'm gonna die. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna fucking die. I'm not ready for it. They're heroes. Holy, holy shit, was that Batman's mask? Or am I hallucinating? I'm not hallucinating. That was Batman's mask. The highest belong to those Paragons. They are the only hope for all creation. Wait, no, that wasn't the beginning. Wait, this is the beginning. What is going on? Is he reliving? Is the monitor like making him relive everything? Well, that explains how she comes back. Same with Tommy. It's really you. Malcolm. Hi, Malcolm. Welcome home. Oh shit! Okay, what? Okay. <gasps> Tommy. Yeah, I suck. I knew it. I knew this. You is, were I'm actually gonna, gonna cry. This is premiere is gonna kill me. I know it. There is this new drug called Vertigo. I, I, I swear to you, <sighs> I tried my best to look at it. Wasn't your fault. Fuck that. What wasn't his fault? Do you? On her 18th birthday. Oh, fuck this. She won't Fuck this. Four minutes in. Fuck this. I can't handle this shit. Oh, stop. I'm actually gonna cry. Your bed has. Come on. Come on. I can't breathe. Never ceases to impress. Oh, this fucker. I hate this guy. That I have tasked you should be reason enough. Or have you come to doubt your commitment to this mission? It's all over. Right. He doesn't doubt. It's supposed to be red. Excuse me? Nothing. Sorry. I'm looking for Felicity Smoke. Damn. Oh, damn. Like Felicity Smoke would say, damn. My team is that I'm running smoke tank. I'll go for her. They almost got me. Sorry. Wait, what? So it's not Malcolm. Who the fuck is this? Tommy? Could it be Tommy? Take off the mask. It's Tommy. It's Tommy. Oh, okay, bitch. So Tommy's the dark archer here, not Malcolm. Okay. I want you to meet John Diggle. 
He'll be accompanying you from now on. Pardon? <sighs> no. Sorry. No, I don't need a babysitter, Robert. This is something that I need. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna cry. So Wait, so this is our diggle? Now if I'm done answering your question, huh? I feel bad. Can't talk about it. Can't go home. If I just let you go gently into that good night. Aww. Okay. They're gonna make me cry. I knew he was gonna do that. Right when he took his hand out, I'm like, yeah, there's no way Oliver's gonna let him. Ollie, you never should have gotten yourself involved in this. <laughs> Who the fuck? Who did that? Oh, for fuck's sake. To destroy the glades and get vengeance for the. Just like Malcolm How did. did. You know that? Because it's what your father did to avenge his wife. What happened to you on that island? Mm, where do we what start? happened to you while I was on the island? While you were gone, this city has been rotting. It can't be saved! Is that true, Tom? I have seen Starlink City come back from darker moments than this. It can be redeemed. You can be redeemed. You don't understand what I've seen. You don't know how I found our sister. Every time I close my eyes, I see her body lying there, cold, on a dirty floor. Aww. So I swore that I would get vengeance on the glaze for what it did to Thea, and I am not going to let her down, not again! This episode is literally season one. I don't care about feeling better. I just want the glades to suffer. You're a better man than this. Uh, oh, damn, Oliver. Oh, 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 shit. Now get out of there before Tommy finds you. Never mind. Or do that. Oh, Diggle. Oh. Oh my god. Why is Oliver kicking their asses so satisfying to me for some reason? There you go. Keep punching him. Keep punching him. Okay, good. He's down. For now. Ta da! Make the right choice. Are you gonna kill thousands of innocent people? Or are you gonna be the man I know you are? Hundred percent sure. Okay, never mind. He did it. I thought I thought he was like gonna do something last second. Swain? However improbable my Shit. Sure. I got news for you. I own this now. Congratulations. Of course, run away. I'm so sorry.
monitor, isn't it? It's the anti-monitor, it has to be. Oh! Oliver, you have to go. I'm just waiting for the anti-monitor to show up. ending. I'm gonna just take a guess that had to have been the anti-monitor of course doing that. I legit thought he was gonna show up because the anti-monitor is played by the same person who plays the monitor so I legit thought he was gonna like show his face or something but no. We'll wait for crisis for that. So that earth is pretty much erased judging by the promo. Moira and Tommy on that earth are gone. And now we got Laurel back with us. Or that Earth Laurel. This was a really emotional episode. Like, it was such a callback to season one. Oh, God. Tommy being the Dark Archer instead of Malcolm. Tommy doing the Undertaking instead of Malcolm. Thea dying. It was just so emotional. And the next episode is like a season three callback with Hong Kong. With Katana being back, it's like the season three flashbacks. So that should be good. All right, I'm just gonna say it straight up. As much as I love this episode, as as amazing as it was, I really don't care for the flash forwards. Like when they first came in season seven, I, they were interesting at first, but then they kind of just got boring and kind of redundant. Like because in season seven, they kind of just. It takes away all of the suspense in the present day timeline because every character that's in the flash forwards is alive so any suspense we have in the present day is gone we all know they're gonna live so there's no suspense it's just gone that and the flash forwards overall just kind of bore me like they don't interest me at all like for season seven i can kind of understand like it's a, it was like a tie into the future to like see a life without Oliver and to have his daughter be the new Green Arrow to carry on his legacy. That I can understand. I just don't think they should have brought it into the, to this season. Last season I understood why, but this one I just don't care for them. I mean, there are rumors, like I'm pretty sure they're, they are supposed to be getting like a 2040 Canary spinoff, like a Siren spinoff. That I could be interested in. See, the problem isn't the flash forward thing overall. Like. If they do, in fact, get their own show, then I will definitely watch it. It could be interesting. Just as the flash forwards themselves, I just don't care for them. But as their own show, where there is actual suspense and we don't, don't know what's going to happen, then they could, that could be interesting. Just as flash forwards, I don't care for them. It would just be, that's the one thing I liked about season six. There was no flashbacks. And this is, this is coming from someone who didn't like season six. Well, that was Arrow, season 8, episode 1. Overall, amazing episode. We're only having some emotional weight. The, the season overall is going to have some emotional weight. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 episodes until Crisis. 6 episodes equals season, episode 7. Episode 8 is Crisis. And then we have the final 2 episodes to properly give it an ending. Oh, not ready for Crisis. I'm really not. I kind of like that this season doesn't really have a big bad. Well, I guess the big bad is technically in the flash forwards with 
JJ Jr., Deathstroke, I don't really care for that. Although you could technically say the Anti-Monitor is the big bad. While he is the big bad for the crossover, he's also the one mainly responsible for all the events this season because he's the one, he is the reason why Oliver has to die in order to stop him. So he could technically be considered like the bigger bad of the season. But yeah, the fact that there's no overall big bad, I kind of like it. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe we'll get one like an episode before crisis although i do think i'm pretty sure we're supposed to go back to present day by episode three and we're supposed to wrap up the ninth circle because they weren't wrapped up emiko's dead but we still have other members other leaders so i think by episode three we're supposed to go back to the present and wrap up the ninth circle by episode seven so by episode seven the ninth circle will be done we'll have crisis and the final two episodes will be like just wrapping up whatever loose ends we have left giving an ending I have a gut feeling Diggle's gonna die on Infinite Earth, and I'm not ready for it. 50-50. He could die, he could live. I could see him dying, but part of me thinks he might live. So either way, Crisis is gonna fucking hurt. <sighs> but anyway, that is it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to let me know what you thought of this episode and what your theories are for the rest of the season overall. And I will see you guys next time.